So what is a 3D model anyway? 3D models are created by laser scanning. 3D models are built using polygons connected to one another. These polygons can represent large flat surfaces such as the walls. And they can also describe curved surfaces such as domes. These 3D models can be extended to parts of objects and buildings that have been lost over time. Theoretically, one can create 3D models of anything that takes up space, including both natural and man-made features of a structure or heritage site. The high-resolution versions cannot be presented over the Internet using existing technology. However, high-resolution 3D models can be downloaded for use offline in other standard viewing applications. Low-resolution models, such as this one, can be viewed online. Clicking on the 3D model link will open the 3D viewer in a separate window. I can maximize the viewer if I want. It is a good idea to take a moment to see the kinds of tools available in the 3D viewer. Holding the cursor over one of the tool icons will reveal what it is. First, we have Reset, which will always return the view to, in the viewer to its original view. Next, we have Zoom Out, followed by Zoom In. Then we have Measure. After that, we have Zoom Selection. We also have Drag Image. After Drag Image, we have Tilt. After Tilt, we have Rotate 3D which is also the default selection for 3D viewers in Aluka. It is very important to remember that a tool must be activated by clicking it. Then, I can use my cursor on the 3D model to use the tool. Click to activate, then click to use. I want to zoom in a little, so I choose the Zoom Selection tool. I click to activate it. Then I click on the 3D model. I start zooming. I can see how far I have zoomed in by looking at the navigational map in the lower right hand corner. The 3D viewer might need a moment to focus. Next, I want to activate the Rotate 3D tool by clicking on it. Then I go to the viewer window itself to rotate the 3D model. I can investigate the model from every conceivable angle. Click on the Rotate tool, then click and drag on the model to view all the available dimensions. If I am logged in, I can see other options at the top of the viewer window. If I found a view I particularly like, I can click Regions in the upper left hand corner. And then I can click on Save Current View. I give it a name. I can add comments if I want. I click Save when I'm finished. Now I can see my saved regions listed there. I close this screen. I click on Reset to return to my original view. If I want to return to the view I just saved, I click on Regions, and then the name of the saved view. I can save as many views as I want, so I can always return later. All of my saved regions are saved in Maya Luca. I can also share them in Maya Luca with my colleagues or classmates. I can also save a snapshot of this image to my computer. I click on Save Image and a separate window opens. I can right click on the image and save it or print it. When I'm finished with my 3D viewer, I simply close it. If I want to take a look at what I have just saved, I can go to Maya Luca.